Hey guys, what's up? It's Captain SNES here, and today I'm going to be talking about why I think the Nintendo Switch may fail in the end, kind of like the Vita. Now, I'm comparing this to the Vita because at first it seemed like it had the hype that it needed, but then it slowly, no, but then it quickly dropped off. It stopped receiving support from many, many places, and it just became a cult classic console. So that's what I think is going to happen to the Nintendo Switch. Here are some of my reasons why. First of all, it's going to have an NVIDIA Tegra chip in it, which means it's not going to be as powerful as an Xbox One slash PS4, unless this is a new version of the Integra chip, which, good for them, they got a small chip because they need that in that small tablet that they have. But if it's not, then it's the same thing we're seeing in the NVIDIA Shield. So it's not even going to be able to compete with the Xbox One slash PS4, let alone the ninth generation of consoles that it's trying to compete with, aka the PlayStation Pro and the Xbox One Scorpio, which apparently is supposed to be the best thing since sliced bread. Another reason why I think this thing will fail in the long run is because if it doesn't have the capabilities needed to run third-party games that people are making, like Assassin's Creed and Call of Duty and all those things, then they're not going to want to make games for it. They're not going to want to have to dumb down games for it and then just waste their time and put it on a console that is eh, anyway. So I think it's going to lose third-party support like the Wii U did. It had Assassin's Creed 3 and Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, but that was about it, and then Ubisoft dropped off. Same with Call of Duty, they had Black Ops 2 on there and Ghost, and then after that they dropped off. So I think it's going to be the same story with the Nintendo Switch. People are just aren't going to want to make games for it. Now, we might be a little bit more hopeful with third-party support because this time it looks like they're targeting the mature audience, which all these games that I've said so far that have dropped off with their companies have had. So that might be a good thing for the Nintendo Switch, but then again, they're going to have to dumb down the games for it, as far as we know so far. One thing I just think that they screwed up on with the Switch is that apparently the battery life is only going to be up to three hours, and if you know anything about people claiming battery life, that means it's going to be probably a little bit shorter than that. So it's not going to have that long of a battery life when they're marketing it as a system you play at home and then bring with you. Like they showed the guy on the plane playing it, and if he wants to play that the whole time, ah, uh, good luck. He better have some kind of backup battery or something. We better be able to have a, a USB power bank thing for this, because without that, you're not going to be able to play that whole plane ride, probably. And then they also showed it in the car going somewhere to a, like a go-kart place or something. If you're going on a car trip with that, like from northern U.S. to southern U.S., you're not going to be able to do that. It's just going to eat up the battery in like two, three hours. Then you're not going to be able to play it the whole time, which kind of sucks for something they're marketing as being portable. All I'm saying is that they better have a car charger for this thing. But despite saying all of this, do I think the Nintendo Switch is going to be good? And am I going to get it when it releases? Well, right now, I think the Nintendo Switch will be good if they play their cards right, if they put the right system specs in it. I don't know. We'll just have to see how it plays out. Am I going to get it at launch? I'm probably going to get a little bit after launch. I still have to save up some money, so probably summer next year I'm going to get it. Then I'll review it or something, but there's probably going to be so many reviews out there already. I don't know. I'll play some stuff on it and then give you my thoughts then. But as of now, I don't know how good the system is going to be. Now, guys, that wraps it up for this video. If you liked it, then like down below. If you want to talk to me at all, I'll chat it up in the comments below. Comment down below. Right next to my subscribe button, hit the little notification thing if you haven't. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. The notification thing lets you know when I upload a video. You probably already know about it. Some people have been talking about it lately, even though it's been around for a while. Just hit that button. You'll be notified, and uh, peace out.